So Pete and I here are digging out this uh, crew pit because this is eventually where Pete's going to build Crew's house. <laughs> but a lot of this soil we're also going to be using for the shed build. So we're digging that out, putting the soil into these wheelbarrows, and we're bringing it over here. This is going to be the sifting area. And Jessica, she made this nice little cool sifter, which she places on top of the gorilla cart. And then she can do the sifting. We just put some of that soil right onto the sifter. And that'll get rid of any of the rocks or large chunks that might be hidden in there. Then we put it into the freshly sifted pile. And that'll be ready to go for the paper adobe mix. This is the field fencing and this is stucco wire which is a little bit heavier than the chicken wire and this is good clay dirt. I think it would be actually nice for pottery too and the paper is there so it's got to be wet enough to push through the wire so that it grips and on the outside you need a texture because later on there's going to be uh, stucco over it. Lime did you say? Lime yeah. Based? So it has to have some kind of tooth to grab onto. So I'm shoving this into the wire. And then when this side's in place, then I'm going to go and check on the other side to see how that's doing. And JJ is doing the bottle work. So we came across a whole bunch of bottles, which was like a major stroke of good luck. And a lot of them didn't have any labels on them, so whoever was collecting them must have had this idea in mind. So JJ's put the bottle up there, and behind it, it's sitting on a layer of this stuff to get it to the right height. The chicken wire's been cut out, or the stucco wire, and the field mesh has been cut out. And then she's wiring the neck of the bottle in place. Then we're just going to pack mud around it. and then it'll be done. A little more dirt. Well, we can uh, we can just carry that over. 
No biggie. So and that way we'll have to... Bringing it up to the inside? Oh yeah, inside. Alright. Sound on too. Whoa. <laughs> That's like next level. That's next level filming right there. What's next level? Sound. <laughs> next after microphone. that will be sound effects. You know. Turning the sound on while you're filming. <laughs> oh no, you talk. This guy's gold right here. Making the videos. Buen, buenos dias. <laughs> you're not you're not quite at that level yet, I don't think, but you're getting uh, But you're getting there. Bebos leche. <laughs> no drink milk. Bebos. Pete's working hard here on the on the mix. Just getting a couple handfuls of that paper, mixing in a couple shovelfuls of the, the soil. And mostly we've been just going by uh, by feel, right? Yeah, pretty much. You don't want it too dry, but not too moist. How's that for specificity? <laughs> Seems like with earthen building, it's just all about getting your hands in there, get to get a feel for the, uh, the medium. And what I was saying, this was the, uh, this has probably been the most fun part, eh? The mixing, getting your hands in there. Better than making a mud pie. Well, mud pies are pretty fun, though. <laughs> I'm very familiar with the tractor supply people since uh, I've been getting my uh, propane from there. Oh, yeah. yeah, they see me coming, they're like, propane? <laughs> yeah, like, you go through a lot of propane. Making those super batches. This ain't your basic batch. Super batch. <laughs> this is for all the basic batches. Make sure to like get up into the corners too to get any dry pieces. Alright, Grace, what do you think about this paper content? I don't know what I mean. What? I thought we needed more paper. More paper. Huh? We need more paper. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but this is the exact right consistency you want. We're master mixologists <laughs> of fiber adobe. That's right. I hope it's the mud that's drawing flies and not me. <laughs> it's probably me. Yeah, this sucks, you know, doing this by myself. Because if this whole section falls off or something, it's like, Grace did. 
job, Grace. Great mystery. How big is he now? He's more than half of Ty's size. Wow. Wow. <laughs> mm. What are you feeding them? <laughs> Same stuff except it's puppy version. I figure there's no point in taking a shower after. Mm -hmm. I had to take one yesterday because I was just so full of dirt from all that digging. Like I could just see the dirt marks on my neck and everything like that. Like ugh. Oh, here I thought it was just suntan. <laughs> <laughs> no, part of it's just dirt. <laughs> An amazing amount of stuff. Yeah. You guys didn't think it would be that much. No, I didn't. That's like a third of what I thought would be done. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Okay. Just one on one side. Pretty on one side. One thing we've learned about this process is that it seems like the flies really seem to like this, like the paper adobe. So we hung up a little fly trap just to keep them off of this, the wall a little bit. <laughs> Too. Now wasn't he uh wasn't he talking about how uh wasn't he just like stating some facts like he's talking about what was the doctor talking about this? Was it about nutrition or health? Can <laughs> I just like I don't know? I don't know. I don't know if this say anything. I'm the doctor too. You know maybe we shouldn't be going so fast. Might be setting up unrealistic expectations for people. It was a good day's work, huh? Not too bad. This is what we did in one day. That's not bad, but we still got a lot more left to do. Stick with us.